22 agricultural business ideas in Nigeria for aspiring entrepreneurs in 2020. The demand for agricultural products, both in Nigeria and the world at large, will always be on the high side because food is one of the basic needs of man. Thus, as an entrepreneur, you can key into this demand and set up an agro-business, creating enormous wealth for yourself. There are many reasons every young aspiring entrepreneur should look into agriculture. There are endless opportunities in agriculture and more people are starting to realize that, especially young people. Welcome to the Business in Africa YouTube channel and thanks for watching. If you are new here, consider subscribing and also turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Without any further ado, here are 22 agricultural business ideas in Nigeria for aspiring entrepreneurs in 2020. Number one, rice farming. One business. can invest. Rice in farming is a very practical business in Nigeria. With over 180 million Nigerians that consume rice at least once every week, you have a market hungry and willing to pay for your product. There are government grants put in place to encourage rice farming. Number two, agro produce exportation is one of the most lucrative agricultural business ideas one can invest in currently. Nigeria is major exporter of some highly sought agricultural produce like cocoa, cashew, sesame seeds, bitter cola, etc. The commodities sell in Europe, Asia, and America. While importers are crying because of the situation of forex, exporters are laughing their way to the bank. A lot of materials have been written on starting agro-export business in Nigeria. So far, this is the most comprehensive step-by-step -step guide to the internet regarding this topic. Number three, mushroom business. The high demand for mushroom, both within and outside Nigeria, has made the mushroom business a viable one. The good thing is that mushrooms take just few weeks to mature, so you can get returns from this business in a matter of weeks. Number four, yam flour production. Most people prefer to prepare their pounded yam meal from yam flour instead of pounding cooked yam. The era where African men require their wives to pound yam every night for dinner is fast fading out. This opens up another door for entrepreneurs to venture into the yam flour business. The scale for investment varies depending on available capital. A yam flour business is a very simple business to start. At the smallest level, you need a capital of about 20,000 naira to buy raw yams in large measure. Slice the yams into tiny slices and leave under the sun to dry. After that, you take it to a grinding engine where it will be ground into flour. The next step is to package and sell for 200 naira per small pack. Number five, bean flour production. Most people prefer to use beans flour for moi moi or akara. To produce bean flour, you need to buy beans. You can start with five buckets of postico beans at the cost of 1,200 naira per bucket. Wash out the outer back, dry and grind. In order to build a brand for your business, you may need to place a label inside your package bean flour. Number six, corn flour business. To start this business, you need to buy like three buckets of yellow or white dry corn, about 500 naira each. Take it to the engine where you grind into flour. You can sell a custard bucket of the flour for 800 naira. Number seven, quail farming business. Ever since Nigerians got to know the health benefits of eating quail eggs, the demand for quail meat and eggs has skyrocketed. You can start a quail farm business with as little as 20,000 naira. You can earn passive income from selling the quail birds and supplying quail eggs to foodstuff sellers. Number eight, pig farming business. If you have enough capital at your disposal, you can venture into a pig farming business. You can start with as little as 10 pigs and grow your farm into a big farm because pigs are known to multiply rapidly. It takes about four to six months for a pig to become matured and can be sold for as high as 30,000 naira. Number nine, corn farming. There is always a high demand for corn all year round. You can start a large scale corn farm. It takes about three to four months for corn to mature for harvest. You can opt 
to supply corn to companies that use it as raw materials. Number 10, further growing business. Most livestock farmers, especially those that rear pigs, sheep, and goats, have a need for the daily supply of fodders. Fodders are mostly grasses like clover, alfalfa, grass, and wheat. You can grow these plants in commercial measure and sell to livestock farmers for a small fee. Number 11, foodstuff distribution business. You can buy foodstuff in bulk quantities from the one part of the country and resell in other parts where such commodity is required. For example, you can buy palm oil from Nsuka and resell in Abuja, or you can buy yam from Benue and resell in Sokoto. It requires knowing what is available where and taking the goods to that place at the right time. A lot of people make their money this way. You can do that too. Number 12, charcoal supply business. Most industries use charcoal in large quantities. You can buy charcoal in large quantities from villages and supply to bakeries and other industries that make use of it. A bag of charcoal can be purchased at 1,400 Naira and resold for 2,000 Naira or more. Not just for local supplies, you can also export the charcoal outside the country for a higher price. Number 13, plantain and potato chips business. You can purchase raw plantains and potatoes in large quantities, fry and package it, and supply in bulk quantities to stores and supermarkets. The success of this business depends to a large extent on your packaging. A lot of people are starting to realize how profitable this business is. It's nowhere near saturation yet. And you can also start a plantain plantation, which is very good business too. Number 14, starting a block on agro niche. Young people are embracing agriculture as an entrepreneurship venture. Most of them need reliable and accurate information to get started. You can start a block on a niche in agriculture to bridge this information gap. For instance, you can start a fish farming block to educate fish farmers and intending fish farmers on new ways to run their fish farming business. You can monetize your block through adverts, selling of information, products, and online consulting. Number 15, agro-based e-commerce site. Also, you can start an e-commerce site where farmers can display their products for sale. Many farmers complain that agents rip them off their hard-earned profits. So an agro-based e-commerce site will bridge that gap and remove the middleman. It will connect farmers directly with buyers. Number 16, agro-export agents. Agro-produce exporters need agents who procure agricultural commodities from farmers. These agents know where the farmers are and the process for exportation. This is a profitable business niche that you can carve out for yourself. Number 17, share butter extraction and refinery. There are many agro commodities to invest your capital, but one standout product will always be share butter. A large market exists for share butter worldwide, particularly as it is organically produced. Share butter is in high demand and is a wonderful product. It has high prospects and sells well in the international market. Opportunities exist in its production value chain, producing on a small, medium, and on a large scale to meet the growing demand. There are growing interest in shea butter from Nigeria for use as ingredients in the cosmetic, pharmaceutical, and confectionery industries. Yet, the commodity is in limited supply as much of it is produced by local women through crude and labor-intensive means. Investment in the processing of the butter in large volumes will not only be profitable, but will also create a fill factor for government support as it is also an avenue for employment for its teeming youth. The strong interest in the products by cosmetic companies is due to the growing demand for a more natural product that is perfect for skin. Number 18. Farming equipment leasing business. If you have large capital at your disposal, you can buy mechanized farming equipment and lease to farmers for a daily fee. Some of the farm equipments that are on high demand are tractor and harvesting machines. Number 19. 
spice cultivating business. There is a high demand for spices like curry, thyme, scent leaf, nutmeg, etc. You can cultivate these spices, dry and package them for sale. Number 20, soya beans and zobo business. You can purchase soya beans and zobo in bulk quantity from farmers and either sell directly in smaller quantities or process into soya milk or zobo drink and supply to store owners and supermarkets. Number 21, yam business. Yam is another staple food that is in high demand in Nigeria. You can start a large scale yam farming business or you can purchase the yams at a cheaper price for places like Benue State and sell at a higher quantity for retail sellers. Number 20, where meats are processed and preserved in a hygienic environment safe for human consumption. You may not need to rear the animals processed from scratch. You can buy these animals from livestock farmers.